Hey everyone, today's video is going to be about the five reasons why I'm getting a master's in computer science online. So let's get started. To preface, I'm in my first semester in Georgia Tech's online master's in computer science program right now. And I thought it would be interesting for me to explain why I'm actually doing this program in the first place, as well as potentially make another video in a year into the program where I can revisit these reasons and actually evaluate whether it warranted doing this program in the first place. The first reason why I'm pursuing this master's degree in computer science online right now is because this timing is pretty ideal. With the coronavirus pandemic, most things around here are closed or at least only partially open. So I definitely don't feel like I'm missing out on too much since uh, I don't think I would really have the opportunity anyways. The second reason uh, that's kind of associated with the ideal timing of it is I'm uh, working from home right now, so I don't waste any time on the commute. I can watch lectures uh, during my lunch break. And then right after work, I can just switch over to my schoolwork without wasting any time on the commute home or anything like that. Also, I think with this coronavirus pandemic, most people are starting to value online education much more because the number of in-person master's program is already kind of dwindling anyways because of the coronavirus pandemic. So now there's really no way an employer can discredit an online master's when I would say the majority of uh, college programs right now are online or at least partially online. The second reason why I'm doing this master's now is because it forces me to keep learning. I certainly enjoy learning a lot and I definitely learned a lot in undergrad and I just figured I might as well try and learn more while I'm used to having those study skills and work ethic. And right out of undergrad, I think it's easier for me now than it would be in say five years or something when I haven't used those math skills or other skills that they teach in undergrad. So that kind of leads me into the third reason, and that third reason is that a master's degree is a formalized education and it actually results in a diploma, not just a badge or an online certificate or something like that. While I'm certainly a fan of self-paced learning and I myself have done two or three Udemy courses and I've done a course on Coursera as well, the difficulty of those courses vary pretty, pretty drastically and since it's self-paced, there's no one really to enforce whether you actually do the work yourself or if you just watch the videos and don't really try and apply it. I think that having a master's degree from a nationally accredited university, one that has some brand value and recognition, is far more, far more useful than just saying you have a badge in this skill or something of that sort. And the fourth reason why I'm doing this, to be frank, is just for a salary or level increase. I'm certainly happy with where I'm at right now, and I got hired on at a pretty good level since I had a computer science degree and an information science degree. I got hired on at a slightly higher level than an average new hire computer science graduate. But I think that by me pursuing a master's degree, it allows me to kind of have that bargaining chip for salary negotiations in the future as well. And the fifth and most important reason why I'm doing this master's is to get deeper specialized knowledge within a focus area within computer science. So with my undergrad degree, I had a pretty broad overarching overview of computer science and I feel like I got my feet wet in a, in a wide variety of topic areas, but I never got a chance to kind of funnel in on a specific area within computer science. I'm definitely most interested in machine learning and also most machine learning job recs require some exposure or experience with machine learning. And right out of undergrad, you don't get enough experience within a subtopic of computer science like that. So I think it allows me to kind of build up on my stats and data science background as well as I kind of learn more about machine learning in itself. So those are the top five reasons why I'm doing this master's. I hope you guys found it helpful and give a like or comment and maybe subscribe if you found it helpful. Thanks.